In this video, we're going to explain plant maintenance. Um, we'll go through the business process flow here, and then in later videos, we'll explain more in depth how SAP integrates this business process flow. This is a best business practice, business process flow. So plant maintenance first starts with technical assets. <clears throat> Technical assets could be something like a ship, a plant, or a car. From a technical asset, what you'll do, you'll start creating all the data that goes with it. So the technical asset itself is master data, and then all the data that you need to support this technical asset throughout this life cycle is also master data. Examples will be materials that are needed to maintain this, uh, bill of materials, uh, preventive maintenance plans, task list, and um, work centers. So for example, if you need special work centers, if you need a certain plan to maintain this, so you have to change the oil every 3,000 kilometers or every 5,000 kilometers or the timing belt every one year, let's say. From here, you have all your data and you're ready to maintain your asset. So then things start happening. So the two things that could happen either that it, it's unplanned work or planned work. So corrective is when something happens to your technical asset. For example, if you have a car, your car breaks down and you have to take it to the shop. It is corrective maintenance. From there, if you go to the right shop, which has all the data you need, it will have the right parts you need, it will have the prices you need for it, and the skill labor and the task list, which means the instructions on how to repair that particular problem on your car. If it's preventive, it's because you're doing something like changing oil or changing a timing belt before the car breaks down. So something that is not unplanned, you've planned it, you've scheduled it, and you're fully aware of the all costs are going to be coming. From here, what happens as these two things items come up, you start getting a list of all work against your technical asset. For example, if you have a ship, all the work that's being done on a ship will be in this list. All the preventive maintenance where you're uh, lubricating machines or sweeping floors and all the corrective where something broke and you had to repair it. There's a broken door, or the plumbing doesn't work, so forth. You have the list of all the maintenance requests. From here, uh, for a maintenance request, you'll need either parts or labor. So when you go to parts, he, this is green because it's, it's linking to the MM module. It's not, no longer PM. Some parts or services you could have um, in inventory or you could have to go externally, which means you have to procure them. From here, once you procure it, it comes back to the list of orders and you execute it here with your parts and your labor. Once you finish executing your work and you have closed them, they go to the archives. All your maintenance data archives are stored right here. From all these archives, you could create reports of this information here, which comes here from your finished work. And from the reports, you could do analysis. From your analysis, you could take this information for analysis and improve your maintenance data. Oh, I should change my oil every 5,000 kilometers because every 3,000 is a bit expensive and it doesn't break down that often or I need different set of parts, or I should have more of this part in inventory, for example, so increase my MRP, and so forth. Additionally, from this analysis, you'll use that information for future procurement decisions of technical assets. So if you bought 100 Ford trucks and you're not very satisfied with their performance, maybe next time your company is looking to buy a fleet of vehicles, they can use this analysis to make their decisions. Additionally, they could also use this analysis too for future controls. Oh, we shouldn't in invest in buying uh, a different type of engine for vehicles. So that'd be just a capital investment, not new cars, for example. And also here, it integrates the business requirements, the things you need.